Hello Libra, welcome back to your monthly romance readings. This is Riza here. I hope you guys have had a wonderful month and are getting ready for May. We do have five planets that are in retrograde, so keep that in mind because we're going to be uh, revisiting, reviewing, removing some old negative patterns, negative thoughts, negative people, um, old scars and old wounds that we perhaps have been carrying around that we had no idea we're still there but they'll be coming up to the surface so that we can look at them for what they truly are some of them will be revisiting and and actually taking a good hard look at why they're there what happened and and we're going to realize that we really don't want to go there anymore we're going to take more charge of our lives we're going to respect ourselves more the message from the angels was listen to your heart so we'll keep that in mind for the month of May. For those of you that have been my listeners for a while, thank you guys. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel and you're watching me for the first time, my name is Riza O'Farrell. You can reach me through the link down below here. You can check the I up here, which gives you information about my site. There's also a link there that gives you information on the readings that I am offering at the moment. If you guys would like a private reading with me, please check my links. You can reach me that way. There's also my email address. I'll send you an introductory email if you write to me there. I'd like to also thank the people that have been donating to my channel, as I do have a link on the About Me section and I do accept any size donation if you guys are so disposed. We do work hard on these readings that we offer. The equipment is expensive, the cards are expensive. I also send you healing while I am talking to you each and every one of my readings which to, do take a lot out of me so if you would like to donate to me that is the way to do it. Also, I am on social media now, so I do offer cards during the week. Maybe not every day, but every other day. So I'm on Twitter and Instagram. My links are below here. If you want to click where it says more, and you click there and all my links will open up so that you can uh, go ahead and sign up for one or both. But I have been posting, so I'm getting myself used to doing it. Sometimes I'm really busy in the morning before I go to work, and I don't have time. But here lately, I have been um, trying to make time for it. When I go to do my morning prayers, and I'm looking out my window, and the sun is coming up, that's when I'm trying to uh, get, the, get the connection and get the card for you guys. So that's how I do it, just so you know. This reading will pertain to the sun sign, rising sign, and moon sign of the people of Libra. <laughs> I probably didn't say that right, but I'm trying. I'm trying to come up with a good way to say it. It's um, If your rising sign is in the sign of Libra, your sun sign is in the sign of Libra, or your moon sign is in the sign of Libra, this reading will pertain to you guys. If you want to know what your rising sign is or your moon sign is, I can put a link down below. So you can try to figure that out and listen to those as well because it'll give you a well-rounded reading to your energies for the month of May. So far, Libra, I see that you have had a pretty difficult time here lately. You're coming out of it. You've had some betrayals. It's shown here. I am following the same format that I have been doing for the past couple of months where it's nine cards. First three cards are the general energies for the sign of Libra. The next three are the general energies for those of you that are single. And the last three are for the ones that are in a relationship, married, or just started dating someone. But the entire reading is for the sign of Libra. You should be able to take some information back with you from every section of it. And at the end, I'll uh, do an overview of the entire reading for you. So stick with me, guys. And uh, let's get to it. The bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is someone that has a lot of passions, someone that has a lot of competition, and someone that has a position of advantage over others. You're strong. 
you can take the competition and you need to stand your ground because you are at an advantage point. So stand your ground. Don't let others beat you down because you are way above them, all right? I know you're, you've had a rough time here when it comes to your family life, when it comes to your friends, when it comes to what you've been trying to solidify. As you do have two tens together, you have the ten of coins and then you have the ten of swords. So there has been some type of betrayal that has happened um, when it comes to your home life or to a relationship perhaps that you may have been in where you were counting on the family unit to be together in a home, in a big home and everyone being happy there has been some type of betrayal or some type of some type of ending to that idea to that ideal that you may have had for something in the future to manifest where this is concerned so some of you have had a breakup of some sort that has just occurred and at the very beginning of the month you're going through that energy I see that it has been a betrayal from someone else that has betrayed you in plain daylight so you feel like, wow, how low can I get? Well, there is a sunshine coming in the back here. There is a dawn happening. So you are coming out of this energy now. So perhaps once this fog clears, you can go back to your plans of this happy family reunion, of this happy family where many generations are living under the same roof and there's a happy couple because some energies have to end so some begin. I've heard others say that um, May is usually some kind of a of a portal where a lot of people end relationships, some people pass away, uh, they leave your life for some reason or another and it's it's almost like a death you know that occurs so you're you feel very betrayed you feel like you know, nothing else could actually happen to you that could make you feel any lower because you have no part of you that isn't in pain because you're you're just broken down. But um, when things end in lives, other things begin. So just be aware that this too shall pass. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Your heart will guide you through this incredible pain that's happening to some of you. This isn't all of you guys, all right? Let's move on. To those of you that are single, you're being asked to look within because you may have some people that try to communicate with you this month or people that step into your life this month, but you really need to be careful because they may not jive with your beliefs or how you are fundamentally, the way that you feel. Some of you may have grown spiritually. You may meet someone that isn't very spiritual so you need to make your decisions you need to look within and 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 see if this is something that you can deal with someone that you can mesh with are they a lot like you are they totally different will they uh, follow your beliefs or allow you to so you have to be careful some of you will meet someone that is like the hermit or a leader a spiritual leader so be aware that that could be coming and you you may join a new group and this person is shining the light out for everyone and shines the light right in your eyes. So watch out for that Libra because you may be coming out of something and going right into something else because it's time. It's just karmic. It's time for you to meet someone else or to do something else in your life. So keep that open. Try to be off by yourself for a little while Libra. Maybe some of you have been alone for a very long time and your leaders in some way. Someone may come to you for help and you may find that this person is very interesting, someone that you can actually get to know. Some of you may need to spend some time alone and realize what exactly it is that I want for myself. What are my boundaries going to be? What will I allow? What won't I allow into my life? Because some of you may have someone that comes into your life. Because right next to the hermit, you have the Four of Wands, and he's turning his back on this now. He's turning his back on celebrations. He's turning his back on solid foundations, on marriage, on, you know, there's going to be some separations for some of you guys. And some of you are single, and you're still um, hurting from the past. You're still hurting from things that have happened to you prior to this month. 
So you're turning your back on even thinking about marriages or being with someone or laying down some foundations with someone. Maybe you're being invited to celebrations and you're like, ah, I'm going to be with myself. I need to learn more about myself, which is fine because you're going to be working very hard at that. And there, come, there will come a point when you will want to go out, when you will want to meet people, you will want to mingle. And it's showing that they could be earth signs. This is Virgo and this is an earth sign as well. So there could be an earth sign that comes into your life that's going to want to lay down some foundations with you. You may meet this person if you do decide to go out. Some of these celebrations that you're being invited to or asked to attend, go ahead and attend them because you meet you could meet someone that could help you come out of this funk that you guys are in you know that someone else has put you there but you don't have to remain there you know um, you could you could allow someone else in well you're going to work very very hard at coming out of this situation yourself I can see that in the cards but in the meanwhile, if you're invited to go somewhere, go ahead and do it because you could meet an earth sign that will be very grounding, that will help you, that will help you a lot. It could help you by giving you spiritual advice. They could help you either way. So just get out and try to mingle a little bit. I know it's going to be hard after all this energy that you guys are coming out of Libra. For some of you that are in a relationship, you're going to feel very balanced with your partner you're going to be helping your partner. Perhaps your partner is going to ask for a loan or ask you for a few dollars, something that they want to do and they can't cover it completely. And you're going to, to you're going to be more than happy to help your partner, more than happy to to give, because you're going to feel very balanced and your relationship will be very balanced this month. If there's someone that you just started dating, you're going to feel, you know, like they're a good partner for you. You may be giving money to someone in your family. You may be ask for a loan by someone that you care about please give because sometimes it's the universe testing you to see if you've grown if you if if you can love enough to help others you know out of the kindness of your heart the universe will always return that to you right in the middle you have the king of cups so you're going to be quite quite the counselor quite the art connoisseur your emotions are going to be very much under control you're going to feel again very balanced you're going to be able to counsel others and help them some way if it's not financially it'll be through counseling through the verb as you are here the hermit again some of you are in a relationship with a water sign either a Pisces a Scorpio or a Cancer so your your energies together are going to blend very well air and water so kudos for you some of you are going to be taking a trip as you have the eight of wands right after that so you're going to be traveling you're going to be receiving lots of communications whether it's from lovers whether it's your partner whether it's family members maybe there's traveling going on maybe there's jobs going on that we have to travel and perhaps you and your partner are going to be traveling together but all in all Libra you're going to have some difficulties at the beginning of the month perhaps some family member is going to um, need your assistance this month so don't don't turn your back on them because they'll need your they'll need your grounding energy they'll need your balance your thoughts your communication your your words so that you can aid them you can support them it could be a partner of yours that may need that assistance so don't don't uh, discount them or ignore what they're going through because you're going through some really heavy energy as well because they will need you and together you'll be able to balance each other out and bring yourselves out of this situation that you're in some of you are going to be celebrating some of you are going to be getting married some of you are going to be moving house move some of you are going to be finishing your schooling so you'll be congratulated some of you are going to be joining new spiritual groups which is um, well um, well shown here in the reading that you will do some of you are going to join groups some of you will become the hermit it is well aspected for you this month you're going to be working very very hard at whatever skill it is that you do that talent that you have you're going to be implementing it this month 
maybe it is to show it off to someone new that you may meet or it's someone new that's coming into your life that's showing you how hard they can work for you how hard they can um, dedicate themselves to you Libra so open your eyes you will be able by the end of the month to balance out your emotions, to balance out your finances. You may receive lots of messages or invitations to travel from friends, family. Go ahead and do it because it will help you get past whatever this negative energy is at the beginning of the month or energy that you're bringing in with you from April. All right, guys, let me see what the romance angels had to say. For some of you, you're meeting someone new and be aware that your romantic feelings are real and they're worth exploring on both sides. Both of you will be attracted to each other, so don't discount it. It's just your imagination because you will be meeting someone new. Keep, keep an open mind and know that this person is not going to be like your usual types that you have dated before. It'll be someone totally new that comes into your life and quite unexpected. Someone that could be watching you that you don't know. You will spend time getting to know each other. You may also have friends that assist you with that. Maybe a friend knows someone and introduces you to someone new that you had no idea was around. But that does happen. I'm going to pull a card from Angel Answers. Since you guys have some negative cards, let's see what the angels have to advise you about that. Libra, you guys are going through some difficult periods, but you're not the only sign, and that too shall pass. Abundance is on its way, and abundance can come in many forms, love, money, finances, what, what have you. It could come in the form of new children that, you know, suddenly your children or your grandchildren, they're having children. Uh, your friends, your siblings. So be aware that abundance is going to affect your life pretty soon. You're being smiled upon by the angels for everything that you guys are going through. Um, the difficult situations usually bring about blessings, and I see here that you guys are going to be blessed with lots of abundance, and it'll be a total surprise, as it always is, within the next few months. So if you guys had a question that I did not answer, your answer is within the next few months. For some of you, this is the abundance that's coming into your life. Within a few months, you will see it. You will see it manifest and you will know, okay, that's, that's what she was talking about. <laughs> Bye, guys. Know that I love you. If you would like a private reading with me, check my link below. I hope you have a wonderful month and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.